Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So I have a very exciting video today. I have bought another special item from the Noble Collection. As you'd be able to tell from the title, it is the Dragons of the First Task. So yes, as I said, this is from Noble Collection. I actually bought it off the website because I haven't been to the shop, I haven't been to London in a while. And it's something I have wanted for a very long time. Basically, I've always been a fan of dragons. I've always loved the idea of dragons. The first task, the Triwizard Tournament, the whole Norbert thing, the Ukrainian Iron Belly and Deathly Hallows. I love dragons. I love seeing them on the big screen. It's one of my favorite things about Game of Thrones. But yes, I have rearranged my bookshelves, which means I have a spare section. So I thought, what can I, what can I fill that section with? And I also thought about the fact that I have the golden egg from Geek Gear, the little golden egg. That's what made me think, right, I'm gonna get these dragons because I've got the golden egg. That gives me a very good way to display the little golden egg. So yes, this is the box. This is what it looks like. Here's all the, all the sides. It says Harry Potter at the front. It's a very nice, sturdy box that it came in. Um, but yeah, we're not here to talk about the box. Just chuck it over there. I have I have already unwrapped the sculpture. Don't worry, it's not in there. This isn't an unboxing. This is a show and tell of something. Are we all excited to see the dragon sculptures? If so, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe to my little magic corner? This is super, super cool. And I, I just, I still can't believe I actually bought it. Here we are. Here is the dragon sculpture. Dragons of the first task. So yeah, we have all four dragons here. We have the Chinese Firebolt, the Swedish Short Snout, the Common Welsh Green, and right at the top there, the Hungarian Horntail, the most badass of them all. <laughs> Something I never noticed until I actually got the sculpture, until I actually got the box, is what is actually at the bottom, what they're actually coming out of. So they're actually coming out of a bag that says Ministry of Magic at the bottom here. So these are obviously meant to be the little replicas of the dragons that the four champions pull out of the bag, which determines which dragon they will be up against. I think that's really cool, actually. I love the whole smoky effect on the bottom here. Um, so yeah, let's talk about all of the dragons in turn. So the first one at the bottom here, we have the Chinese Firebolt. Very red, very Chinese looking, actually. You you can tell straight away that that is meant to be the Chinese Firebolt. Yeah, just curled around there. It looks pretty cool. The Swedish Short Snout, you'll be able to recognise because out of the four, it has a really short snout, which is why it's called the Swedish Short Snout, of course. I can't actually see any legs coming out of him doesn't look like he has any in this. He probably does once he's fully out of the magical bag. He has two horns at the top of his head. It kind of looks like a rhino, kind of reminds me of a rhino. And then a second from top, we have the Common Welsh Green. We know he's the Common Welsh Green because simply, He's green. He's the most greenest of the dragons out of the set. His wings look really cool. He also has horns at the head. He has all of his limbs out. The only slight issue, tiniest issue that I have with the common mouse green is the fact that he's facing away from the front. So like all the other ones you can see when looking at it front ways, you can see their faces or at least part of their faces. Whereas the common mouse green, he's looking away. I mean, I guess they can't all be looking in the same direction because that wouldn't be right. So it's more realistic this way. But I think it, it would be kind of cool if, you know, you, you could see them all in the same direction. But that's only a slight criticism that I have. Now, finally, the piece de resistance, the greatest dragon of them all. Well, the most fierce dragon of them all, the Hungarian Horntail. He has his wings pretty much fully out. He is badass, he's ready for action. Just look at that wingspan at the back there. Yes, he definitely looks badass. He's kind of creamy, browny, reddy kind of color. He's definitely the most handsome of them all, the scariest looking of them all. He has all of these horns going all the way down his back, all around his face, which is why he's the Hungarian Horntail, I guess. He also has like extra kind of claws coming out of his wings, which I don't think the rest have. No, the Chinese Fireball has his claws coming out of his wings. So he doesn't actually have front limbs. His limbs, I suppose, are part of his wing. They all are very different. Um, but yeah, he's just so cool. They're all so cool. All fierce looking, it's beautiful quality. They are all hand painted, and yeah, the paintwork is absolutely beautiful. It's just something, again, like I said, I've wanted for a while, and I'm glad I have it. So, yes, shall we put it on the bookshelves and then I can show you my updated 
bookshelves because I have changed them drastically over the last week or so. So yes, dragons going onto the shelf. There you go. And up the top here, we have my little golden egg from Geek Gear. I could be tempted in getting the big one from Noble Collection, but it's huge and that would deserve its own section. Just gonna place it right there, yeah. I think it looks quite cool. What do you guys think? And do you think it looks good being at the top here instead of my Harry Potter books? Because although I love my Harry Potter books, they are my most prized possession. I have moved them down a few layers on my shelves because they're not exactly the most picturesque, beautiful, pretty things to have on display in the back when I'm filming my videos. So yeah, I just thought I'd switch that up a little bit. But yeah, shall we, shall we talk about the shelves. These shelves and more shelves I have to the side here. I'm excited about this, let's get on with it. So yes, as discussed just now, the top left of my bookshelf are my beautiful dragons and my golden egg. To the right of that I have my Ravenclaw diadem and next to that I have the rest of my Horcruxes from Noble Collection. I decided to move these up to the top because I thought these were better things to be like more in view when filming my videos. The top shelf now is going to be my most prized noble collection item so to the right here we have my beautiful hogwarts castle also from noble collection so yeah all of the top here is now like my favorite noble collection items with the addition of a time turner there which isn't the noble collection one by the way in case you're wondering which is why it's not in the display case it's just one i bought offline and on the other side here we have my talking head because I really don't know where else to put him, so yeah, he's there. Moving on down, we have my honey dupes section, my magical sweets. We have two butterbeer cups there from the studio tour. A lot of this stuff actually is from the studio tour. So we have a chocolate frog. This is a noble collection chocolate frog. We have my exploding bonbons, which I have eaten all of them. If you've seen my studio tour haul video, I said that I was going to eat them all and just put the wrappers in. That's exactly what I've done. I have Bertie Bots beans there with a few Bertie Bots beans left in there. Another chocolate frog at the back, my fizzing whiz bees, peppermint toads, and right at the back I have a magical treats lollipop from Geek Gear and my Honey Dukes Scratch and Sniff Adventure book. Next to my sweets, I have my Quidditch section. So we have all sorts of goodies going on here with like a couple of Quidditch World Cup tickets. We have one, two, three broomsticks and a golden snitch right at the front there. All sorts going on there, I really like that section. Next to that, we have my Hogwarts Express section. It's a nice, modest little section. The next section I have here is kind of like school subjects, Hogwarts classes kind of section. We have Quill and Ink, we have my Mandrake, we have two Pop Funkos of Luna and Neville. They are there specifically because I had nowhere else to put them. We have Dobby at the back there again because I had nowhere else to put him and two books there. They are actually sleeves which I bought online. There was a pack of 10. You'll see another one of those soon, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find books to fit the other sleeves on and to figure out where else I'm gonna put them. Yeah, I like that section. It's coming together nicely. Under here, this is where my original Harry Potter books and my Hogwarts library are. Again, I have my spectral specs there because I don't know where else to put them. And it looks kind of cool, I think, having something else on top of my book. So yeah, that's them. Next door, we have my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them section with Newt Scamander and my Niffler, the original screenplays, other books there. We have my Hufflepuff section, which I still don't like because I don't have enough stuff really to display much. But I have my three 20th anniversary edition Hufflepuff books and some other... Hufflepuff related stuff in there. There is a hand drawn, you can't really see it, there's a bit of a glare. There's a hand drawn Hufflepuff crest in there which my partner drew for me, which I think is really cool. Next we have my wands, which I'm not gonna show you too much because I'm gonna do a separate wand collection video very soon. So we're just gonna move straight down here. Here are some random books, all sorts of books that you can get, all sorts of vault books and the Diagon Alley book and all that stuff, that's cool. Over here is a section which in my opinion is still unfinished and I don't really like. It's kind of like a Harry Potter section. We have a little Marauder's Map, we have his birthday cake, glasses, acceptance letter, the golden trio. I don't like this section, it doesn't look that cool, but it, again, it will do for now until I can figure out what else to do with it, really. Next, we have my illustrated 
books. I will be getting the Goblet of Fire soon in a couple of months, so that's cool to add to that. Some more Noble Collection stuff, my Geek Gear Gringotts Key. This owl, which is made out of paper, handmade by someone. I was given that when I won a Harry Potter quiz. And over here I have two pop-up books, which I'm going to share with you in probably my next video. I'm gonna give you a proper run through, show and tell kind of video on both of those in my next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. They're just there for now to fill a space, but because I changed two of my sections in my bookshelves to go over to my other shelving unit, I was really struggling with what to fill this space with. So they are literally just there for now, it's temporary. So yeah, that is what my bookshelves look at the moment, my main bookshelves. But over here, we have another bookshelf, which is smaller. This is my original bookshelf. This is what I used to have before I got this big badass one here. So yeah, let's start at the top. So we have this really awesome Potion Master certificate I got from the uh, Potion Master Geek Gear Limited Edition box. I haven't signed my name on it because I really don't have the heart to potentially ruin it. I, I can't do fancy writing, so I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Next to that, I have my OWL results. I think this was from Gobstone Alley back when they were actually good. <laughs> Ooh, spilling the tea. Again, I haven't written my name on it because it's, it's really cool. I don't wanna ruin it. Over here, we have a certificate which I got from the first Harry Potter quiz I ever did. Yeah, everyone was just handed out certificates for for participating in the quiz. It's all like handmade, hand designed, whatever. I did put my name on that one. Underneath, we have my potion section. I am very excited about this. Thanks to the Potion Master box that we got recently, I've been able to have enough potions to actually expand my section. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, so I'm so glad I've actually been able to do it now. You can actually see all of my potions properly. It's all spread out and there's plenty of room to add a lot more potions. So yeah, from left to right, we have my advanced potion making book, which again, is actually just a sleeve. We have a potions class syllabus. I can't remember if that's from Gobstone Alley or Geek Gear. In front here, we have my liquid luck potion from Geek Gear. We have two little potions, flu powder and use potion that I made myself. Well, I didn't make the bottles myself, I made the contents myself. This thing here isn't actually a Harry Potter item, but I thought it looked quite cool to go in this section. I don't actually know what it is, but it has this really cool like design at the top here and it actually opens and it has this like crystal effect on the inside there. I really like that actually. And yeah, I thought it went, I've just dropped my liquid luck potion. I don't know how else to stand that up at the moment. Next to that, we have my eagle owl feathers, the draught of living death, which I got in a recent potion master box. We have some empty potion bottles at the back here, which I'm excited to fill up someday and to further on my potion collection or I might just leave them empty because you know you can never have too many empty bottles to potentially fill up with more potions you may come across. Over here we have some lavender, we have a chest here which I thought again looked really cool in this section. At the top here we have some fluxweed, essence of dittany and powdered horn of bicorn. To the side here we have two more potions from Geek Gear my love potion and wolfsbane potion. At the back here, I have a love potion mug, which I got from a special edition Geek Gear box. We have a cauldron here, which says apothecary department. I can't say that word fast. Another polyjuice potion there. That polyjuice potion is from Gobstone Alley, but I changed the label of it to what I thought was a much cooler looking label because the one from Gobstone Alley wasn't actually that great in my opinion. We have a hippogriff feather, which I just thought it looked cool in there, so it's staying there. At the front here, we have another cauldron, which I recently got from the studio tour. Another unnamed potion here, which I made the other day out of one of those empty potion bottles. There are some mini bezels there. And finally, a wand right at the front there. I thought it just looked cool. And underneath here, are my magical creatures, which again were originally at the very top of my bookshelf. So so my Thunderbird, Fwooper, Okami and Niffler. I also have a dragon egg there, which I got from a quiz night's handmade. It's meant to be a dragon egg from Game of Thrones, but there are still dragons in Harry Potter. So I thought I'd just leave that here. I have an Okami egg, my little bowl truckle, which isn't the Noble Collection one. And over here, I have my little Demi Guys Pop Funko. And at the back here, I have a set of three prints from Geek Gear, 
the Demi guys, the Bold Truckle and the Niffler. That's temporary, I think, because if I'm planning on getting more magical creatures, then the frames aren't going to fit in there with them so and finally on the bottom here because I don't know where else to put them are all of my geek gear wizardry ones all of the ones that they did that aren't character ones so there you have it that was a little show and tell of my brand new noble collection dragons of the first task sculpture and an updated tour on my bookshelves please let me know what you thought both of the dragon and my bookshelves in general I'm very pleased with them at the moment I know it was the first time round, but it's always good to change things up a little bit isn't it I think so anyway it just means that you guys can see more of the different sections of my shelves if you enjoyed this video then why not leave a like because that would mean a lot to me if you're new to my channel and you haven't already then please don't forget to subscribe to join my little magical corner thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time